Hello everybody, I hope you are doing well and welcome to the platform of CodeChef. So today we are going to be solving the problem Lucky Numbers. The difficulty level for this problem is easy and the prerequisites require are your basic mathematics. So this is your educator Ansh and I hope you like my video. Let's proceed to the problem statement. Okay, now let's try to understand the problem statement. So Chef believes in the lucky numbers. According to him, the numbers like 72, 20, 20, 755 and 834 are lucky numbers and whereas numbers like 2, 5, 11, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 3, 3, 3 and 7, 7, 7 are unlucky numbers. Chef has a number n from which he wants to calculate total number of lucky numbers that n contains inside it. So basically let us define what Chef has told according to us what are unlucky and lucky numbers. So unlucky numbers are those numbers which contains only one digit, like they are made up of only one single digit multiple times. So my 2, 5, 11, only one digit is occurring them in multiple times or in single time. But the main logic is that the number should be formed using only one digit. Right? So as you can see, my 7, 7 is formed using digit 7. My 3, 3, 3 is formed using a single digit 3. And if there are any other digits occurring than single digit, then it is my lucky number. Otherwise, it is my unlucky number. So this is what the question is saying. So the question is saying that you are given any generalized n and you have to find out how many lucky numbers are present till from 1 till n. This is what the question is asking. And as you can see, my n is quite high, which is around 10 power 9. Right? So how can we approach this problem? So in order to approach this problem, what we can do is, first of all, let us have an observation. So, what are my unlucky numbers? My unlucky numbers will be nothing but my single numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? And then for 10s it will be 11, 22, 33, 44 and so on up till 99. Then it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 up till so on. And as you know, there are 10 per 9. So, my 9th place will be nothing but 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 up till 9 times then 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, up till 9 times and so on. So in worst case, as you can see, for every 10 power, so this 10 power 0, for this 10 power 1, so the total there can be at most around 100 of my lucky numbers. What I can do is, instead of traversing and calculating my lucky numbers, what I can do is, I can just simply calculate how many unlucky numbers are present, I can subtract it from n, so I'll subtract my unlucky numbers from n, and get my lucky numbers, which is the answer, right? So this can be the approach that we can form this in this particular problem. So here, consider my these two test cases. I have to find my lucky numbers till 12, right? So what I can do is, so answer is nothing but 12 minus, as you can see, firstly, all this particular numbers, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, so 9 numbers, and then my 11 is also present, right? So my 9 which is 10, so my these 9 numbers and my 11 which comes to 10, so 12 minus 10 which is 2, and hence the answer for this test case is 2. Then I have my 100, right? So as you can see, in 100, how many numbers are called? There's 9 numbers and this from 11 till 99, right? These are 9 and this is nothing but 18. So the answer is nothing but 100 minus 18 which equals to 82. And as you can see, the answer for this test case is 82. So this becomes the approach to solve this particular problem. Now let us see how we can code this particular approach. Okay, now let us try to understand the code for the following problem. So here I included all the header files. Main function, then I started taking input for three test cases. So I took three test cases as according to input format. Now for each test case, what I did is I simply initialized my n and this input according to the input format. And then I initialize my variables such as x as 1, my answer as 0, and my boolean flag as true. So I'll tell what the each and every use of that particular thing is. So my answer will be used to compute each and every the answer will be used to compute each and every unlucky number so that in the final we can just subtract my n with all the unlucky numbers and get all my lucky numbers. Right? My flag will be used to exit this infinite loop. And then my x is nothing but the current amount of digits in that particular number. So what I do is firstly I initialize my i to one, my x to one, and then I simply traverse from i 
equals to 1 i less than equal to 9 why did I traverse from i less than equal to 9 because uh, only 10 power 9 or my n can be maximum up till 10 power 9 so that's why I can traverse only for 9 digits and then what I simply do is I initialize my x as 1 this loop is gonna run from 1 till 9 and I can generate my numbers such as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 using this x into i and if that particular digit is less than or equal to n we know that this digit is made up of only one particular digit which is nothing but i or we are multiplying that particular digit so yeah this will generate all my single digit numbers or the or the numbers which only are made up of one single digit right and then if that particular number is less than or equal to n i'll increment my answer or if my condition fails that my x into i becomes greater than n that means I can simply exit my infinite loop so I'll just initialize my flag as false then after that loop I check whether my flag is true or not and if my flag is false that means I have computed all my required answers and I can simply break so otherwise I can update my x as x into 10 plus 1 so initialize I initially initialize my x as 1 and after this entire thing my x will become 11 and then after that my x will become 111 and this particular loop say we can generate our number suppose it is 11 in that x is 11 in this iteration so I can generate 11, 22, 33, 44 and so on then x will again get updated to 111 and then we can generate 111, 222, 333 and so on and there's the logic of doing so that while generating these numbers we can simply check if these numbers are less than or equal to n and then increment our answer as a total number of unlucky numbers finally we can just subtract our n like unlucky numbers from our answer from our n or the original n and we can get our required answer so now let me run our code to sample test cases to understand that everything is working correctly or not as you can see we got the correct answer according to the sample test cases now let me submit my code to check whether our code passes all the actual test cases or not so as you can see we got the correct answer for the following problem and yes this becomes a valid approach so now let us discuss what people can do wrong in this particular problem so here the main part was the implementation where you have to go to each and every unlucky number and then you can just or you can go to each and every unlucky number and just you can just subtract my unlucky numbers from the n so my n is since my unlucky numbers count is quite less we can directly compute them and compute this answer so if that particular observation was clear I don't think anywhere else a person can make mistake in this code logically or syntactically like the chances of occurring is that is low if you have understood this particular approach easily right so this is the learning you get from my video I hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you